Good day, rowdy, rowdy wrestlers. I'm on silent and we're on the air with WrestleMania, the arcade game. From 1995, developed by Midway Games, it is one of the legendary 90s WWF wrestling games. You know, back when the wrestling wasn't so much to write home about, at least they had a decent arcade game back in the day with WrestleMania the arcade game and developed by Midway coming off the heels of Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, NBA Jam. It's actually done in quite the same way as Mortal Kombat, actually. And you would think that from a wrestling arcade game because, you know, prior to this we had, what, we had Superstars and we had WrestleFest. WrestleFest was one of my favorites. But if you take a look at this here, it's just kind of rolling through. Well, what you've got is actually, you know, green screened and stop motion characters that were done in, you know, the same way that they did Mortal Kombat. They got the wrestlers in, put them in front of a blue screen or, I guess, I'm not sure what screen you would have put Doik in because he has every color under the sun in his trunks. But you would have put him in front of the screen and had him work out his moves and they would have videoed it and animated it all together. And that would have been WrestleMania, the arcade game, so to Mortal Kombat. So let's get started. So let's take a look at the wrestlers here. We've got Pennywise, Tony Montana's non-Union American equivalent, racial stereotype. He might have actually, actually died at WrestleMania at some point in the last 10 years. Playgirl model Shawn Michaels. Fire walk with me. Back in WCW by the time this game released on home console. And battling the Shrieking Sheik. And so there it is uh, from 1995. Some of you guys, Lex Luger left the company in September of 95 to go back to WCW. This came out in about November-ish, I want to say, 95 on home console. Uh, Saturn, not Saturn, no. Saturn was in 96. We'll get to that. Uh, 32X, Genesis, I think PS1, maybe SNES, and DOS, which is the version we're playing. At that time, Lex would have left and gone back to WCW and shown up on the first episode of Nitro. And by the time this hit Saturn, Sega Saturn, in May 96, Razor Ramon, Scott Hall, had jumped to WCW and said, You know who I am, but you don't know why I'm here. Where is Billionaire Dead? Huh? Where is Dinacho Man? Okay, that's uh, probably a really shitty Scott Hall, but yeah. So there's eight wrestlers you can fight as. Not quite the cream of the crop of 1995's wrestlers. I mean, you're missing... Well, you're missing... Definitely you're missing Diesel. Kevin Nash. You're missing... Who else? Oh, you're missing Lawrence Taylor. I mean... He main event WrestleMania against Bam Bam Bigelow in 95. But you've got Bulldog, who is it there? British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith. You've got Owen Hart, who is missing. And I think those guys, maybe Psycho Sid, would be another big name that's missing from 1995. Tatanka, maybe. But there's some, it's, you know, you've got only so many guys that you could put in there. I mean, the original Mortal Kombat only had eight people in it after all, right? Anyway, let's get started. We're going to play as my favorite wrestler of all time, Brett the Hitman Hart. Brett the Hitman Hart! Thanks, Vince. Uh, ignore the flickering. It gets a little better as you go on, so... Tonight in the Squirm Circle, Brett the Hitman Hart versus Brett the Hitman Hart! <laughs> I do like the touch of the blue tights, though. Because before he was wore pink and black... Ooh, we sent him flying! Before he wore pink and... Oh, the eye gouge! Before he hit the, uh... Before he was the pink and black attack... Wait... We'll just keep running. Before he was the pink and black attack... Oh, the heart attack! With, uh, Jim Neidhart and... The Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Brett was uh, wearing blue and black with Jim, so it was more of a powder blue. But nonetheless, it was uh, so it's a nice little. I don't know if it was intentional to make the blue Brett's alternate attire, but it was just it's a night nice, it's a pro it's thematically appropriate. 
Oh, the eye gouge again. I'm trying to figure out what my buttons are right now. Oh no, he's got me in a... It looked like he had done the sharpshooter. We're just... This is not pretty. As Jim Ross would say, it's bowling shoe ugly. Oh no, he's got me down. Oh, shoulder breaker. It is very well animated, though. You have to give it a little credit here. Oh no, he stomped on me. And I like that little touch at the end of it. It's not a fatality or anything. It's not a knockout. You gotta pin the guy in order to win the match. And you get little bits of commentary from Vince and the King, Jerry Lawler. High risk maneuver. It was a drop kick, Vince. Not a good idea. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, he's got a second wind. He's hulking up. I was going to say, the problem is, even though I know I'm the... I'm the pink Bret Hart, it's still... You still see Bret Hart, so I'm, I'm get I just got a little crossed up there at the end. Word circle, Bret the Hitman Hart versus the Undertaker. Oh, SummerSlam 1997. There you go. So there are a couple of game modes here. There's the WWF Championship version, which we aren't doing, and there's the. Uh, Intercontinental Championship one that we are doing here. Oh, there are special moves. I haven't quite figured them out. Oh, full arm drag and twist. There you go. Or if you're Tony Schiavone of WCW, it's full arm dragon twist. The it is a... This is one of the, like when people talk about wrestling games, they talk about like No Mercy or WrestleMania 2000 for the N64, uh, SmackDown. Here comes the pain over on the PS2. Not WrestleMania the arcade game, but you know this isn't a particularly bad game, although it probably is. Oh, there's no history between these two, is there? You know, it probably is a terrible, terrible arcade game. Or fighting game. If I'm doing well at it. Oh my god! What was what was the bicycle kick there? Oh, it's Frankensteiner! Scott, it's a Frankensteiner! Scott, it's not a Hurricane that, that was never what meant. Are you from? That was never Where meant. Are you to from? Dispute. Everybody knows that's a Frankensteiner. You call it the Hurricane Runner. Why? Oh, and a German. When they're in Germany, they just call it a suplex. Ah, oh, this has not gone well. Now, back in... I think it was 94, 95, they actually ran a house show in my hometown. I think the records have... I might have, like, a like a match listing or a program or something from this back. Oh, full arm drag and twist. Oh, no. Kicked him in the butt. There you go. We did have a house show that ran in my hometown back in like 94 and 95. 95, we actually, who did we get in 95? We got Sean. Because I remember my mom telling the story, but I didn't see it, but someone grabbed Sean Michaels, some woman grabbed Sean Michaels in the, uh, in the aisle, walking back to the locker room. And wouldn't, and was trying to basically smother, like try to kiss him to death. She wouldn't let him go till he pulled away. I know we had uh, Undertaker, Undertaker versus Kama Mustafa. That was the main event. Doink, the clown. Doink bra, making kids cry, bra. Man! Oh, there we go. Oh my god, he's got... 
That is such King commentary. Oh man, I've gotten massacred by Doink. He got exactly what he deserved. I disagree, Jerry. Oh no, he's got me. Oh, Bulldog, there we go. Now he's missed twice. And we come up short on the... To the crowd. Man, I'm to watch this. Oh my god. I'm getting my ass handed to me by a clown. Oh my god, we've been electrocuted by Doink. Oh, we got him. There we go. And bowling pins, that's so random. It was a casket match between Taker and Kama Mustafa, actually, now that I think about it. And... This is where my skill at fighting games comes into its own. Because it's like, I have no skill in fighting games, so it's kind of like, Alright, what can I do? Oh no, oh no, he's got me. Oh, the shoulder breaker again. I don't think I have... No, he's got the second wind. There we go, another headbutt. Just wait a couple years, Vince. You'll hate his guts. Wait, are you gonna do a handicap match now? And st Do they both fight me at the- Oh! I've been slightly immolated by Bam Bam. This is just- I'm not sure what they're trying to- Oh, he's- Just swung something at- Oh! That was a hip toss, not a full arm dragon twist. Okay, we took down one, now we've got to take down the other. It takes a bit of concentration when you're fighting against two, but I, almost as if... Whoa! Oh my god! Pin him! Pin which one? That was close. Man, that... that is intense! Fighting... Oh, that hurt. Trying to take down two guys, but I'm still trying to figure out what the controls are. Now we're just... See, now like I was saying... In keeping with my uncanny ability to... In fighting games, I'm just literally spamming buttons and hoping for the best. I, I do appreciate, though, that they do take turns. More or less. Oh my god. Now we're gonna try. Oh no, he hit the neck right here. We're done. Ah, can we get up? Nope. Damn, we are so close. Oh, I don't know what I did there, but that was a pretty good uppercut. Oh, it's a painful backbreaker. Unless he flipped him around, it was a gut buster. Let's just let them run for... Oh! <laughs> he hit his own guy there. There we go. Let's just punch... I like that... Uh, did we get it? There we go. Required a bit of concentration. I don't understand what the combo meter is for. My god, it's WrestleMania 10 all over again. You remember WrestleMania 10? That was the one. 
that was the one coming off of Royal Rumble 94 in which Lex and Brett had both had both tied and I guess sort of kind of sort of won. Whoa! He could exit the ring. Oh my god. It was almost like the torture rack. Oh, he threw me into the ring step. Or the side of the ring. The ring apron. That was it. Now, I don't think we're going to win this one. I just get that feeling. We've been... My own lack of skill has been exposed. But it is a fun little game, this. You literally just saw it, Vince. At least there's no countouts. Oh, hey, it's Vince King. Look at him. Oh, no. I lose health by being outside the ring. But you don't recover any health. That's the problem. Oh, there we go. That was dumb. A total debacle. I agree, Vince. That was a total debacle. No, I'm quite all right. Uh, just speed up the countdown. But yeah, that was WrestleMania, the arcade game. I figure rather than leaving you with just the one game, because there's only so much you can do with a, a wrestling arcade game, I figured let's go pick up their lots of games that have been named WrestleMania. Of course, it's the WWF's big event. Of course, somebody's got it makes sense that somebody's got to call a game WrestleMania. So I figure, let's take a look at another WWF WrestleMania game before we go. And from 1991, developed by Ocean Software, this was a PC release. Well, a PC, Amiga, ZX Spectrum, I think Commodore 64 as well. It is WWF WrestleMania, starring the Hulkster, the Ultimate Warrior. Oh, and the missed one. Hang on a second. Player one select, yes. You could play as Hulk Hogan. Oh, wait. Don't I do funny intros for these guys when I do fighting games? Or I guess any of these one shots, really. Hang on a second. Let's try that again. I haven't thought any of these up. It's Sex Tape Scandal. Well, it wasn't a sex tape scandal. It was. Was University Speech Scandal. And, Mr. Hitman, I'm fucked. <laughs> That's a story from SummerSlam 92, in which K Brett said that Davey was uh, out smoking crack with Nightheart. Something to that effect. He'd been out, uh, he had been out with Nightheart prior to WrestleMania, or SummerSlam 92, forgot the entire match. So, uh, yeah, you got three choices in this game. And it was really geared towards a European release, apparently. So, the inclusion of Bulldog as, you know, the third playable character in 1991 wouldn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense to most people. Because you're missing out on, like, dozens of wrestlers that you could include as a playable character. But if you're targeting Europe, well, you got you got Bulldog, right? Let's, uh, let's start with the Hulkster. Oh, wait, I went to the training mode, didn't I? Shoot. So, but since I'm in practice mode, I'll kind of explain it. It is set up kind of like an Amiga game. It's programmed to be a, as Amiga friendly as possible, I guess. Oh, no, gotta get back in. The graphics are similar to WWF Superstars. What terrible. Yeah, I'm looking for like a run button or something, but... The only buttons I've been able to find. Is, uh, well, there's the, there's the walk buttons. There's the left and right buttons. You waggle your stick back and forth to do the, you waggle your stick back and forth and you get one maneuver doing that. Hulks, for whatever reason, is a pile driver. And you could just spam the stomp button. Now maybe we can do a finisher. 
He's dead. No. Nope. He's not. We'll finish him off again. Ha. Okay, this one didn't go so well. Can I, uh... No. Nope. What's Hulk's top rope maneuver? Flying cross body-ish? Oh, can we pick up the chair? No, we can't. He has to be outside the ring to do the chair. That's a shame. But we can do the chair. That's pretty cool. If he was outside the ring. All right. Well, thank you. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So we can go back to the main menu. That's not bad menu music, to be perfectly honest. I don't particularly mind it. But anyway, let's take a look at... Yeah, just skip ahead to the Compete for Belt. Player run select. We could be the Hulkster. We could be the Ultimate Warrior. Or we can be Davy Boy Smith, the British Bulldog. Actually... Let's, I, I'd like to read some of this crap, like, no for capturing the WWF title for an unprecedented third time at WrestleMania 7. Don't worry, brother, brother, what, is it, was it only his third time? Because he won it for a fifth time at, no, yeah, it would have been, he, he would have won it again for his fourth time at Tuesday in Texas, or this Tuesday in Texas, in, like, November of 91, and then would have won it in uh, Spring 93 at WrestleMania 9. So, yeah, that would have been his fifth title reign there. Oh, and I like, uh, favorite quote, What you gonna do? Doesn't have a brother in there. What you gonna do, brother? What you gonna do when the largest arms in the world and Hulkamania runs wild on you? And then... Uh, the Ultimate Warrior, known for being an unstoppable horse in the WWF. And his favorite quote is... As you, Hulk Hogan, make your way to WrestleMania. Just watch the entire WrestleMania 6 Crash the Plane <laughs> promo by the Warrior. It is the strangest thing you'll ever watch for a wrestling promo. And uh, Bulldog's quote is... The British Bulldog is going to take a bite out of the WWF. Now, see, that's not it. It's, <laughs> where's my title shot? Or, the British Bulldog's going to win the Royal Rumble because I'm bizarre. There, that, that, those are, those are Bulldog quotes. That's me, Bulldog. Because he's the least scandalous of the bunch. You might be big. You might be strong. You might look good, but you'll never be perfect. Or, but you just ain't perfect. It's Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hedding. You know he's going to say something that involves perfect. I wonder if he could throw... S select a reply. I started at the bottom, and I climbed the ladder all the way to the top, and now I'm going to beat big guys like you, Mr. Perfect. I'm going to defeat you, Mr. Perfect, and I'll do it for you, Mum, and you, Dad, and for all of Great Britain, Mr. Perfect. When I'm coming after you, and when I catch you, I'm going to eat you up. These all suck! Who wrote this shit? Oh, fine. I'll catch you after you catch you, eat you up, whatever. Just skip that. They say nobody's perfect, but they never met me. But then they say, the exception proves the rule. All right, there we go. Oh, I forgot to waggle my stick. Oh, the computer is much better at that than I am. He throws a German suplex, that's it. I haven't figured out how to do anything in this game. It's it's literally just me spamming. Man, I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> I I think this was a bad one to go out on. We should have just played more WrestleMania the arcade game. Okay, well I think that's uh, probably enough of. Uh, <laughs> Stop getting my ass handed to me by Mr. Perfect, one of the greatest intercontinental champions of all time. Ah, we're, we're going to take a powder here. 
We're gonna take a pat. Hey, the uh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's gonna get. I'm gonna get counted out. Yep, I got counted out. Oh well. It looks like you lost, and I won. Now that's what I call absolutely perfect. Yep, that's... <laughs> it was apparently a... No, I don't want to continue. Apparently this was a well-rated game for its time, but definitely inferior to the four years older WrestleMania the Arcade game. But you know what? I like some of these old wrestling games. I like old arcade games. You know, maybe I'll come back at some point. Maybe around, like, SummerSlam or something, and kind of look at some of the uh, other old WrestleMania or uh, WWF arcade games. Not this, though. Maybe in your house. Maybe we'll look at In Your House, which was basically a sequel to WrestleMania, the arcade game, but more geared towards console releases. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap up our pre-WrestleMania wrestling special. So, thanks very much for joining me on this journey through old wrestling WrestleMania games. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new or if you're looking for more classic games. Share on social media, follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on Air, and that's for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget you can check out more of my retro one-off videos in the playlist is on the screen in the description down below, and more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.